Hey guys, welcome back to the Flock of Steagles channel. Today we are in Ironton, Missouri for Shepherd's Mountain Bike Park. So this place is fairly new, open this year. It's got a shuttle that runs you Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you get there through the week like us, you got to climb this place. So we are on our way to Bentonville and we thought we'd stop in Missouri to check this place out. So my brother got here before me, him and his two buddies already went up, climbed the climbed and then came back down and we're heading back up for another shot at this so there's three ways to get up they rode the the road that takes you to the top oh my. With, with the shuttle this is a road that you can pretty much walk because it's super super oh chunky you can't ride this it's crazy and then we'll show you another way to get up uh, later on in the video i'm telling you the other route's not better see all right what are we gonna do what are we doing Let's let's let fate decide. Yeah. <laughs> on trolley track. Oh! 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 And it's powder keg. Black diamond. There's element. They did mine shaft. It was spectacular. Liar. Right, you should use that wheel for your you got bearings on your wheel. Let's check yeah. that one. They already did mine shaft, so now we're gonna be going down powder keg. Black diamond. Ah, send it style, Steven style. So this place, if I could use one word to describe this place, rocky. It is pretty crazy. Like Harrisonburg, Virginia was really, really, really rocky. This is really, really rocky, but in a different way. So you'll, you'll see. The first part of powder, powder keg, not that difficult. Um, I mean, I'm, I, I could be going a lot faster than what I am right here. But then it just gets to some pretty hard sections. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is part of a Bentonville trip. So I'm gonna do a video of all the destinations that we hit going down to Bentonville. Yeah, we're gonna walk that. Oh my God, I'm fine. So, um, if you like this video, check out some of my other videos on the channel, which will kind of show you where else you can go on the way down to Ben. Junk. And what, more specifically, what to ride, what to eat at, where to eat at, and what to drink with some legit breweries in, in Bentonville as well. So check out the channel. We'll have a lot more ideas for you as you plan your trip this year and or next year. I left the, the other one we did was harder. Really? Brad's talking about mine shaft. Little did we know that it starts to get a lot harder. Right about now. She almost hit with my shoulder. Whoa! Chunky, chunky, chunky. I'll tell you, I've watched videos of this place before I, I went down here myself. And I'm thinking, God, why aren't they going faster? This does not look that difficult. I'm telling you, this particular place, for whatever reason, it looks a lot more crazier in person than what it does on video. Ah, go ahead, Drew. Especially with this upcoming feature. Why can I get in? Oh, 
<laughs> Here's that picture. I love it how they have this My shoes are too hard steel to pole so you can scope it out without falling on the hill. Yeah. So that little wooden like takeoff off under oh, those yeah. rocks does not look that sketchy right here. A lot of tires have slid off the uh, bridge up here. It looks you sketchy can see in person. You tire marks sliding off. Yes, how fast? I would go 7.5 miles per hour. Yeah. I'm guessing the line would be better to go yeah. to the right. Three, your question was for me. The answer is don't get hurt on day one. So, no, I'm not doing it. How slippery is that? He said he's not doing it. Yeah, it looks. After slippery. Drew did right. it, Steve had to do it. So. I like all these video cameras. <laughs> you didn't get on video, it didn't happen. Yeah. I hope I don't hurt myself. I just wish that was flat right there. Put your front tire on it. See how so I guess I was no, for the middle. Don't do that. Huh? Yeah. I'm nervous now. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> it looks so easy. <laughs> and he says it's easy. Yeah, I'll take his word for it. Here's Drew's second time yeah, down. Steve said he's not going to do it. And I'm dizzy. Saw how easy it was, so now Steve's got to do it. Nice. <laughs> nice. And we're off. The Stiegel brothers did not do it, but he's got to do a medium, or a stoppie. Oh boy. God. And it gets chunky, and we've got to walk a couple sections, and I'm not used to seeing them. I walk some sections, as you'll see in some of the other videos, but the guys I'm riding with don't typically walk sections much, so that kind of tells you how chunky. Look at that. I mean, there's just like no trail. <laughs> It just said it. Rocks. That's crazy. I think he said if you go there, you're dead, and if you go there, you're dead. No fucking way. Knee. Yeah, I, I remember seeing him hop through this. Neep and deep. Yeah. He landed right in the pocket where you're at right there. And then hopped over the rest. Huh. And we're oh off. Do you think this is harder than Harrisonburg? Yeah. That was a different kind of rocky, wasn't it? Keep it straight down. Did I hear you just say, go ahead and walk it? This is insane. I mean, you can't even walk down it. I'm, I'm telling you, to get down this, I had to almost slide down on my butt to get down it. It was so steep and slick. Uh, is that all right? You gotta ride a wheelie off of that last rock. Is it like a little bit of a gap? Yeah, you gotta jump it. Ride a wheelie off that gap. Ah, I can do it. Just gotta carry some momentum up. Nope. 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 Deep and deep. We are nearing the end. Of the path of kid. But as you can see, plenty of tech gnar rock sections if you like that kind of thing. And what I. This is a road back to the bottom. I said back to shuttle this yeah, way. This. Would I want to do this again? I mean, I would. I'm not it. so sure if that was worth the suffering. Plenty of time <laughs> for the shuttle. Was worth the squeeze? No. But but walking up or riding up, I don't know. So this is the other way that we, we we tried to go up the hill. It's listed as a green trail. It is called Coolio's Climb. I listened to Gangsta's Paradise climbing up it, so it was fitting. Now, as you can see, 
it was just as rocky as a lot of other areas of the of the trail and it it wasn't the easiest to climb but it's probably my preference over the other place Not that you. we climbed up. Oh, okay. Follow me. You're good. So now we're doing the blue trail, which is element 26. This of the two trails that we did, this by far has a lot more flow to it. Still has some rock sections on it. It's got some jumps on it too. You going back? Pretty tall task right there. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> That's, That's what long. We're doing though. It was a pretty big gap. So this is what I would say is, even this trail for just someone who's kind of getting into biking, I don't know if I would recommend taking them down this trail. My son, he's 12, you've probably seen him on a lot of the other videos. I would take my son down this, knowing that he might have to walk a couple sections. I Whoa. probably would not take my wife on this. So there is one other trail that I believe is better, it's, it's either a green or an easier blue that they could do. But when you're climbing this, this mountain, I think it's 700 feet after two times of just like a grind up a bunch of rocks. It was a lot. Definitely want to come back, check it out if there's a shuttle. I probably would not come back here unless you get more trails without a shuttle or a better climb up just because it's, it's pretty exhausting. I did not, however, do the jumps. For those of you who may or may not know, I had a spill this past summer and broke my collarbone and shoulder blade. Yes, I said I broke my shoulder blade. So this was actually this along with my Griffin Bike Park ride that I did earlier this day was my first big ride getting back from after my injury besides just the small local parks throughout Indianapolis. So still working up to it, still working up to getting back to jumping, doing some rock sections, but uh, feeling feeling a lot better and just progressing again. also learned while we were down in this area of Missouri that they're also building a park, downhill park, mountain bike park, not exactly sure what it's called. Is it fine? All I hear is silence. It's in Steelville, Missouri, which I don't think is too terribly far, but if you're coming from a certain direction, it might be doable too. So check out Steelville, Missouri for their mountain bike park, downhill park, whatever that is. I'm sure it's going to be very similar to this, a lot of rock. I used to live in Missouri and we used to go to St. Joe State Park, which isn't far from here, and do a lot of dirt bike riding, which that was more sand than anything. Not nearly as rocky as what this is. And actually St. Joe State Park's got some mountain biking there too as well. So you, I mean, honestly, if if you want to make just like a, a Missouri trip, you could probably make this into a pretty good two, maybe three, three day, maybe four day trip down there. And hit some cross country trails, hit some downhill trails here at Shepherd. Uh, see what they have at Steelville, and shoot by then maybe they'll have another couple couple of trails in, in, in these different systems. So what's exciting is is people are excited about building mountain bike trails. We we talked to a local here. And I believe he said he owned a campground right next to 
the non-bike park. And this is being done, I believe, specifically by the city because the city recognizes if they build something like this, then it will bring people here. Well, guess what? We've got three people from Peoria, Illinois, and one person from Indianapolis checking out in the middle of Missouri, at Ironton, Missouri, a mountain bike park because of what they built. So whoever's listening, whoever is thinking about it, it works, the tourism works, and it's very evident when you go to places like Bentonville of how many people are traveling to ride trails, build destination vacation trips, not just with your friends, but with families. And that's honestly why I have this channel is between the trips that I take uh, with, with my friends, with, with my family, I want to give those who are new to the sport or those who are looking at ways to check out other sections of uh, the U.S. with the trails, how do you build your, your trips? Where do you go? What trails are good? Um, depending on the level. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an intermediate rider. Where, you know, I'll, I'll do Black Diamond trails, but I, I won't, I'm not Sandy Sandy like a lot of people, but you know, I love the blue trails, but I'll, 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 I'm an equal opportunity trail rider. I love all trails, but, but but get out and ride, guys. Plan your trips. You know, you're probably watching this at the end of 2021. 2020, 2022 is around the corner. Start looking at some vacations, just some weekend getaways, and get out on your bike and ride. Would I put Shepherd Mountain Bike Park on, on my on that list? If if you like chunky, gnarly stuff, yes. Would I bring a family here? I probably would not. Um, if I'm doing a family vacation, I probably wouldn't bring them here until they build some more trails, which I'm sure they have plans of doing. But had a good time. Next stop on the Bentonville trip, if you want to continue with this ride, is we're going to Mount Nebo in Arkansas. So thanks for riding along, guys. Subscribe to the Flock of Steagles, and peace out, suckers. Peace.